Viola Malka is a businesswoman in South Sudan's capital, Juba. Viola imports clothes from Uganda, Kenya, and Turkey in Europe. She says she is always looking for the U.S. dollars to buy her products. The dollar is very expensive. If the dollar is at the current rate, how will we buy goods then? Customers do come to purchase goods, but they complain about high prices. My business is going down because customers say they are expensive. Viola's situation is similar to that of many traders and business people here. Many businesses are struggling to keep afloat. Business has been not going well according to high rate of economy. Since comparing to 2015, 2016, the way I was working here is not the way it is. And also the challenges we have in the market here is the taxes. The taxes are high. Prices of commodities continue to fluctuate and majorly moving upwards. South Sudan's government has changed the governors of Central Bank 10 times since the country gained independence 12 years ago with the aim of fixing the economy. However, inflation is continuing. South Sudan's Apex Bank, known as the Bank of South Sudan, says it now has a formula for price stability in the country. Going forward, the Bank of South Sudan will coordinate with other regular stakeholders to organize the informal market, especially the umbrella informal market, who currently do sell hard currencies outside the view of the central bank. The Bank of South Sudan says it is giving one month for unregistered foreign exchange business owners to legalize their status. Okay. It says those whose businesses are small and cannot meet the requirements for registration should form groups and merge their funds, then get legalized. For business people like Viola Malka, the solution to address inflation is not yet in sight. Patrick Oyet, CGTN, Juba, South Sudan.